comme ça. Hop. Moi, je préfère quand il est pour. Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today, I am very excited to introduce to you the brand Joseph Ducrot. It is a very special brand and has caught the attention of many handbag lovers out there, and it has been compared to brands like Hermes. So, let's start by talking about some of its history. Joseph Ducro is both a very old brand and a very new brand at the same time. Its legacy goes all the way back to the mid 18th centuries when Louis XIV had the idea of strengthening the French economic independence by subsidizing some of its industries to make them a world power. And the Duclos brothers um, obtained the status of the royal leather manufacturer through a royal decree by Louis XV and started producing quality leather in the town of Lectour in France in the year 1754. At the time, they weren't producing handbags because handbags weren't really a thing back then, but they were producing a lot of uh, leather items for the military, um, such as military boots. That's why when you look at their iconic handbag, the Diane, the uh, buckle closure is shaped after the French military distinction called uh, the fourragère. It's a military distinction that they wore on the French military uniforms. About a hundred years after the royal decree, they had to close shops because of the lack of a successor. It wasn't until 2021 when a French entrepreneur and art collector and investor revived the brand by bringing in an artistic director who not only worked in Hermes but also um, revived the brand Moana. And today, the brand is focused on bringing back its superior tanning process and craftsmanship to create a quality product and a truly luxury mm -hmm. experience. Today, the brand is one of the few brands in the market alongside uh, Hermes and Moana who don't use a certain kind of chemical in its um, tanning process uh, in order to allow the color to naturally patina over time. So each handbag, um, even though they might be the same color, uh, would develop a different patina over time. The store manager was very friendly and very happy to show me um, the store and recount the history of the brand and let me try on some of their handbags. It felt like a truly luxury experience. Shopping here at Joseph Ducrot uh, was pretty stress-free and you really feel like a VIP. As for the bag, I thought it was um, perfect length for a crossbody bag and it was a very nice bag to hold on your hand as well. Overall, I really liked um, the structure of this bag. The price is on the higher end, but you do feel that the quality is superior to some of the entry-level luxury brands out there. I also had the opportunity to visit their space downstairs, which is kind of like a museum in a way. It's a very beautiful space. This is where they display some of their exotic skin handbags. Uh, most of them are uh, shiny crocodile, and they also had one that's um, Himalaya skinned handbag. And this one is priced at 38,000, which is um, substantially cheaper than um, the Hermes Himalayas. was told that in this space they host um, once a month an atelier workshop where an um, artisan would come in and explain um, how they make the handbags and answer any questions we may have and it would be um, a very educational experience I think. From what it looks like they use the double cross stitching method that Hermes uses and each handbag is uh, made from start to finish um, by one artisan. 
I couldn't take my eyes off these shiny crocodile handbags. The, the colors are truly beautiful and you can't really tell from the uh, video and um, I struggled to get them in the right light to display the color. Um, here on the camera it looks a little bit more red but in person it's a very beautiful hybrid of uh, raspberry and red so it's kind of pink and kind of red and this is their VIP showing space and it's very big and spacious I was able to spend a lot of time down here with uh, no pressure at all and just um, try on the handbags. I think if I had to pick one from this store, this would definitely be it. Um, the cutter, I just cannot get over it. Um, and the shiny crocodile skin, it's simply a perfect combination. And if you haven't noticed the details, um, there is a metal bar that runs uh, along the, uh, the side and the bottom of the bag. And I believe the, the words engraved on the metal bar comes from either the royal decree or something about the fountains. Um, the Fountain of Diane, uh, which is in the town Lectour in France, where the uh, Duclos brothers originally established their uh, leather manufacturer. And this bag is of course named after the uh, Fountain of Diane. This bag is priced at 29000 and the good thing is that you can actually place a special order with them to customize uh, the details and there's no fuss about it um, you know at Amres it might take a long time to be able to get a special order um, and here you can simply place one and from what I've learned from the store manager, it sounds like their after-sales care is pretty top-notch. So um, no, no matter where you are in the world, if anything happens to your bag, they will send someone out there to pick up the bag from you at no cost to you at all and ship it back to friends, repair it, and get it out to you again. I think I might actually prefer this to the Hermes Kelly bag as far as crocodile skin goes anyways. Um, I can't really explain why there is some inexplicable um, charm about this bag. At the end of my visit, the store manager even made me a leather bracelet with my initials on it to take home as a souvenir. A true VIP experience. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll be back. See you next time.